Good morning, GMS. I'm Caleb. And I'm Madison. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the, for the week of January 30th, 2023. Car rider students, please tell your parents to drop you off in the north parking lot and not in the neighborhood across the street. Students, remember that there's no chewing gum allowed at the Greenville Middle School. Teachers are cracking down, so make sure you spit out your gum when you come into school. Students who are interested in track, there will be a call-out meeting Wednesday during Pride. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports. Have a great week, everybody. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I'm Nolan Daunt here with 7th grade math instructor, Mr. Brooks. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Nolan? Uh, I'm doing good. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'm Mr. Brooks. I have been teaching for over 19 years now. I am from Cleveland, Ohio. I am married with a lovely wife, two lovely adult children, and I am a sports fanatic guy. Me too. Question two, what is your favorite movie and why do you like it? Purple Rain, because the music is absolutely amazing and I'm a huge Prince fan. Question three, where would you go on your day off and who would you go with? Any day off I have, I love to go either to the beach or I love to go golfing. And if I go golfing, I want no one with me other than my son. And if I go to the beach, I want to hang out with my wife. Question four, if you weren't a math teacher, what job do you think you would be doing? I would probably be running the WWE, being the best dang wrestler there is in the whole world. Bad Boy Brooks is coming to your town. What two things, aside from water, would you like to bring with you to a deserted island? I would bring my golf clubs to a deserted island and as much as I could, as much water as possible. Thank you for coming on our news show, Mr. Brooks. Have a good week. You too. This is GMS Sports. Let's, let's look at this week's home sport events. Tuesday, January 31st, boys refs are wrestling against... Jennings County Middle School, starting at 6 p.m. at GMS. Thursday, February 2nd, 8th grade girls basketball versus Plainfield Community, starting at 5.30 p.m. at GMS. That's all for sports. Bye, GMS. Hello, <laughs> this is GMS. Roll call. I'm Eliza, and today we're asking, does pineapple belong on pizza? I like pineapple on pizza because it's nutritious and it's junk food, too. I think pineapple pizza is good because it's a b -b -b bear. I don't like pineapple on pizza because pineapples don't go with the sauce. I don't think I like... Wait, hold up. Restart, restart. Can I do a retry? Yeah. All right. I, I don't think pineapples belong on a uh, pizza because it's a fruit and that's just not good tasting. I don't like pineapple on pizza because pineapple doesn't go with cheese. I like pineapple on pizza because it's juicy to the crispy. I don't really have a reason. I just like it. I don't think pineapple <laughs> belongs on pizza at all. No, never. <laughs> I don't think, like, a fruit should go with, like, bread. Two different like, food groups. And, like, marinara sauce. That sounds disgusting. I like pineapple on pizza, but I don't think it should be on pizza all the time. All the pineapple on pizza does taste good on pizza. It does not belong on it because all the water inside the pineapple, when it's coat, it gets on the pizza and makes it soggy. I don't think pineapple belongs on pizza because it's so sweet, but, like... It, all, it just doesn't fit with all the savory, like, toppings that you usually get on pizza. See, I say it's best if it's, like, cooked in the pizza, but, like, you're not eating the pineapple itself. If you get what I'm saying, you know? Um, I don't think it belongs on pizza because it's just, like, too sweet and, like, watery, and that don't make sense. I don't like pineapple on pizza because I, I want to eat something that's savory, not a sad excuse for a custard or something sweet. So. 
Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Annie. And I'm Courtney. Let's get started. Number one, according to theday.com, two-year-old Jack Russell Terrier, whose name is Patron, is sniffing out bombs in mines in Ukraine. He works 24-7 to find unexploded bombs, then the soldiers defuse them. Other than saving lives, he's just a normal pup. His owner, Misha, says he just loves cheese and is very active and a fast runner. He also visits Ukrainian children who he gives hope and happiness to. According to today, good news, uh, this golden doodle kept his, sist his human sister safe when they got lost in the woods. Artemis the golden doodle has been hailed a hero after protecting his sisters when they got lost in the woods. In Folsom, Louisiana, Seven-year-old Abigail and her four-year-old sister liked to play in the woods, but when mom called, they did not come like usual with their dog, Artemis. As the sun began to set, mom called the police and posted on Facebook for help for the two lost girls. Roughly four hours later, they heard a bark in the woods. Artemis was leading them to the girls, but once the group tried to pick them up, Artemis started growling and burying his teeth. Once they were safe with mom again, Artemis had a nice steak as a token of their pre appreciation. Once again, dogs have truly proven that they're man's best friend. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week.